Hello everyone, my name is McCabe Marshall with MLM Publishing and this is Word of the Week. Word of the Week is a short video we shoot every single week for our readers and viewers from all over the world. So thank you for tuning in today. At the end of this video, if you enjoy this message, I encourage you to share it with your family, friends, loved ones, and coworkers. And you can do that by copying the link to this video and pasting it into your email and also into Facebook, Twitter, and all your favorite social media sites. So make sure to share the good news at the end of this message. Also, I have a YouTube channel at youtube.com that you can subscribe to for all our latest videos. And the channel is just my name, McCabe Marshall. You can also subscribe to receive Word of the Week every Sunday evening by going to your, in your email inbox by going to mccademarshall.com clicking on that Word of the Week tab on the left, filling out the form there, and we would be more than happy to add you to our emailing list. So make sure to check all that out at the end of this message. All right, well, the Word of the Week for this week is John 10.10. 10. One of my favorite Bible verses in the entire scriptures is John 10.10. 10. The reason this verse is so powerful is because when we go through trials, setbacks, and disappointments in life, it is so easy to start to want to blame God. The problem is God is never the one to blame. Sometimes we make mistakes and we must suffer the consequences. Other times life is just unfair. The truth is we have an enemy and his will is to destroy us. Jesus tells us in John 10.10, 10, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have it life and have it abundantly. Whenever we see destruction, theft, or death, we are witnessing the activities of the devil. Satan has nothing good in him. He is completely opposite of Jesus. On the other hand, Jesus is the life giver. He offers abundance, freedom, and so much more. The goodness we see in this world is from God. The destruction and chaos we see in this world is from the devil. James 1 verse 17 says, Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. When something good happens in our lives, whether it be a good break at work, getting well and overcoming a sickness, or any other blessing, we should always be quick to turn back and thank God for his goodness. Throughout Jesus' public ministry, he healed many people from all sorts of walks of life. On one occasion, Jesus heals 10 lepers. They all go away healed, rejoicing as they went. However, only one came back to actually thank Jesus and praise him. Luke chapter 17 verses 15 through 19 tells us, One of the lepers, when he saw he was healed, came back, praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him, and he was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, Were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God except this foreigner? And then Jesus said to him, Rise and go, your faith has made you well. The story of the only Samaritan leper to turn back and praise God is a great reminder for us to never take for granted all the many blessings God has given us. If you are in good health, praise God for keeping you healthy and strong. If you have food and shelter, thank God for his provision. If you have close friends or family members, praise God for giving you people who love you. There is no blessing too small that we should ever take for granted. When we thank God for all he does for us, 
It opens the door for him to do even greater works in our lives. One of the things the devil tries to do is send adversity into our lives in order to get us off track. The enemy wants us to turn our hearts against God. He wants the whole world to turn against the one who created them. Revelation chapter 12 verse 9 says, The great dragon was hurled down, that ancient serpent called the devil or Satan, who leads the whole world astray. He was hurled to the earth and his angels with him. The good news today is we are not going to be deceived by the devil. We belong to Jesus and Jesus has conquered the devil and all the dark forces of this world. Now we have Christ's spirit living inside of us to help us navigate our lives through this world. 1 John 4, 4 tells us, You are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Christ in you is greater than the devil who is roaming the world. We are in a battle here in this world. No one is exempt from the spiritual war that is raging on in the world today. We must remember John 10:10 10, 10, as it serves as a reminder that God is always good and the devil is always bad. The enemy loves to distort this absolute truth. The apostle Peter warns us saying in 1 Peter 5:8, "Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour." The devil is looking for victims. He is looking to destroy and ruin people's lives. That is what he does. He is the epitome of evil. However, Jesus came as God's answer to this monster. Jesus is the king of heaven. He is the prince of peace. There is no authority in heaven or on earth that is not subject to his awesome name. Philippians 2, 9 through 11 tells us, for this reason also God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee will bow of those who are in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and that every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. There is no spiritual force or human being who is more powerful than the Son of God. Jesus came to bring us life and to bring us life abundantly. He is 100% for you and not against you. He loves you so much that he died for you. His will is that you would be set free from the snares of the enemy. Your destiny and purpose can only be fulfilled in Christ. The devil will throw counterfeit plans and distractions to try and get you off course. But the good news is God has you in the palm of his hand. He has given you his good spirit and his holy word to lead you down the right path. You have been given all authority to conquer the destroyer and the thief who is the devil. Well, I want to pray over you really quick that you'd get this message deep into your spirit about John 10.10. 10. So wherever you are, if you want to just bow your head and close your eyes and listen along as I pray over this message. Father God, thank you so much for everyone who's listening and watching right now. I pray for anyone right now who is doubting in their faith. I pray for anyone who is questioning if you are really for them. I pray, God, that you would show each and every one of us that you really are for us. Show us how much you love us and how far you are willing to go to redeem us and set us free. Thank you for giving us your son, Jesus, who suffered and died on the cross for the sins of the world. In his name, we have conquered the devil. In his great name, we are healed, delivered, and set free. We praise you today and every day for the, all the wonderful blessings you have given us. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Well, I want to tell you the first step to experiencing more of God's goodness and love in your life. It's by first accepting Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. 
Jesus tells us in John 14, 6, that he is the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through him. Jesus came to the earth some 2,000 years ago, and he died on the cross for the sins of the world. He did this so that anyone who comes to him can be forgiven of all their sins, past, present, and future. He died on the cross and rose from the grave so that we wouldn't have to spend eternity in hell, but we could be with God in heaven forever for eternity after this life. So if you have never received the free gift of Christ's eternal salvation, would you just say this prayer with me and invite Jesus to come into your heart and be Lord of your life? Wherever you are, if you want to just bow your head, close your eyes, and repeat after me this prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you for coming to die on the cross for my sins. I repent of my sins, come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior, amen. Well, if you just said that prayer, the Bible says that you have been spiritually born again and that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life in heaven. So welcome to the family of God. And the next step in your faith journey is to get involved in a good Bible-based church and Christian community so you can learn more about God and be encouraged by other people in your faith. Also, be water baptized as a public profession of your faith in Christ and read the Bible every day. The Bible is the Word of God. Reading the Bible is how we learn more about God and what He says, and it helps us to grow stronger in our faith. Also, pray every day. Prayer is simply talking to God like you would your very best friend. You can talk to God any time, day or night. He is always available to you. And scriptures say to cast your cares upon the Lord because he loves you, he cares for you, and he wants to be involved in every single aspect of your life. So read your Bible, pray every day, and make sure to tell someone you know that you gave your life to Christ. You can tell a friend, a family member, someone at work or school, or a pastor or preacher. Tell someone you know that as a Christian, that you gave your life to Christ so that they can encourage you along in your faith. We also have a website with a lot of great resources that can help you out as well. And the website is just my name, mccademarshall.com. On mccademarshall.com, you can watch other Word of the Week videos just like this one. If you will click on that Word of the Week tab on the left, you can scroll through over 200 different Word of the Week videos that we have done in the past. These videos are great teaching videos that you can watch, re-watch, and share. You can watch them with a spouse, a friend, a coworker, or a loved one. Also, I am a writer, and here at MLM Publishing, we mail out seasonal newsletters every three months to readers from all over the world. If you aren't on our mailing list, would you click on that newsletters tab on the left and fill out the form there? We would be more than happy to start mailing you a gospel newsletter every three months. And I've authored a few books that you can order on the website as well. The latest book I wrote is called Finding Your Keys. Finding Your Keys is about discovering the authority you have as a believer. In this book, you will discover 12 different keys, which are spiritual truths that will unlock the supernatural power of God to go to work in your life as you learn to apply them. Another book I wrote is called Breathe. Breathe is all about God breathing new life into your God-given dream. At the end of each chapter of Breathe, there are prayers from the scriptures that you can pray over yourself and over your loved ones. So it's a great resource for going deeper in your faith. And the first book I wrote is called Tasting the Goodness of God. Tasting the Goodness of God is a 31-day devotional that will help you learn how to spend time with God every single day on a consistent basis. If you don't have Finding Your Keys, Breathe, 
or tasting the goodness of God, I encourage you to order those books on McCadeMarshall.com and I would be more than happy to sign those books and ship them to you. All right, well, in closing, I would like to declare a special blessing over you. I declare you are walking in the abundant life God has for you, just as he promised in John 10.10. 10. Anywhere that the enemy has killed, stolen, or destroyed in your life, God is repaying you sevenfold. He is moving your enemies out of the way, and he is causing you to triumph in the name of his son, Jesus. You are going to fulfill your purpose. You are going to overcome every battle that comes your way. You belong to Jesus Christ, and greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. With the Lord's help, there is nothing you cannot achieve in Jesus' name. Well, we love you so much here at MLM Publishing, and we are praying for you every single day. God bless you.